Hey everyone, so uh, we're on the way back to the airport now after a pretty successful Rally Sweden. Uh, obviously we're, we're very happy to come away with the top five, uh, certainly more than we expected. Uh, obviously a lot of things to still work on and, and more speed to find, but at the end of the day we did the job that was asked of us, which was uh, to get to the end of the rally and, and to score some good manufacturer points for the team. And from a team perspective it was a, a perfect weekend, uh, they're now second in the manufacturers championship, so uh, it's a bit of a weight off the shoulders to, to know that we did the job um, and we know we can go a lot faster we know exactly the areas where we can improve so we're really looking forward to getting back on the gravel in Mexico. So uh, we've got a few questions that uh, uh, Hyundai New Zealand sent through from uh, from their Facebook page so uh, we'll, we'll answer those now. So we've got uh, Frank Poot asks how demanding is the level of concentration required driving in the snow in comparison to driving on gravel? Uh, if anything, the mental capacity uh, in any rally, whether it's tarmac, gravel or snow, is always the same. Uh, although in saying that, when, when the surface doesn't feel natural, uh, like in this case snow for us, you, it does take a lot more thought and a lot more concentration because uh, you're really trying to anticipate the grip levels and um, you just don't quite know exactly what the car's going to do. So I guess in that sense, you are working a bit more mentally over time than what you normally would, uh, but that's just part of the challenge. Next question is uh, Emil Brickman asks, what do you think of the choice of Hyundai to drive with young talented drivers like yourself and Kevin they bring in the WRC and also use them in tests and develop the new i20? Well, obviously my view is a little biased on this but I think it's absolutely amazing what Hyundai's doing and giving opportunities to drivers like myself. Um, without it we certainly wouldn't be here in the World Championship and, and the Championship needs new drivers. Uh, you, you know there's been a lot of the the drivers that I grew up watching who have retired are recent and, and there seems to be a bit of a gap now where uh, you know new drivers need to be coming through and the only way to do that in this day and age is by opportunities from manufacturers so what Hyundai are doing is amazing obviously we've got Toyota coming in in, in the coming years as well and, and then we're back out to five manufacturers on the world stages so it creates a lot more opportunities and uh, a lot more um, you know opportunities for myself and, and a lot of other young drivers around the world so of course it's, it's perfect. Uh, Paul Rea asks, if there was only one event in the WRC calendar you could race, which would it be? Well, that's an easy one, New Zealand. Uh, we really hope New Zealand's back next year in the calendar. It's by hands down the best roads in the world. Um, you can't get close to it anywhere in the world. Um, outside New Zealand, uh, I'd probably have to say probably Finland's one of my favourites. Uh, fast, the jumps, the atmosphere is, is, is second to none. But in saying that, you know, I just love driving the rally car no matter where we are in the world. Uh, I'm very lucky to have the chance to drive the i20 and uh, hopefully we can bring home some good results this year.